Hi everyone, Marissa Swindell here, a graduate student at Nova Southeastern University studying nutrition. I'm here at the Urban Farming Institute and today we're going to talk about what exactly is a garden. We're going to be describing various techniques that you can use in your garden, as well as some specific examples of each and some tips and tricks that you can use if you're wanting to start your own garden. So what exactly is a garden? It's important not to be too intimidated at first by the definition because really there is no set definition of a garden. They come in all shapes and sizes. They can be inside or outside, vertical or horizontal, can grow many different types of foods, fruits, vegetables, and even plants like aloe. And to prove it, we're going to show you some various different types today, so follow along. First up, we have raised beds. Here at the Urban Farming Institute, we use four by eight raised beds. So these basically use a platform the size of your choice, whatever you desire, that rests on top of the regular soil and ground in your very own yard. These are especially useful in areas like Florida where the ground soil might be lacking specific nutrients. You can add whatever growing medium you'd like to your raised beds within that platform and then from there you can go ahead and adjust the nutrients as needed, depending on whatever type of plant you're growing. Check out our videos on how to build a raised bed garden and the proper growing medium to use. So next up we have elevated beds. Elevated beds are basically the same concept as the raised beds, except these might be more suitable for individuals who cannot bend over for various reasons, maybe wheelchair bound, etc. The only other difference is the use of the drip irrigation system which also makes it useful for those who are unable to use hoses, lift watering buckets, and so on. Next up we have hydroponic gardens. So hydroponic gardens are another unique method we use here at the Urban Farming Institute. This method focuses on growing plants without soil. So what this means is the plants are going to get all the nutrients they need through the water. This also makes it easier to maintain the pH of the soil, preventing disease. Here at UFI we use vertical hydroponics. Our setup may seem intimidating because we do use these for our CSA, but it saves space and you can build them on a much smaller scale at home. Check out our YouTube channel and upcoming class on how to start your own hydroponic garden. Next we have container gardens. One specific example we have here is an earth box. So an earth box is going to use a sub irrigation system and this is going to make it easier because you can never really overwater an earth box. Overwatering is actually the number one challenge of a beginner gardener. So to prevent this or help with this, make sure you have the correct drainage or maybe use a more textured soil to promote airflow. So container gardens are going to be convenient when you don't have the space for a more traditional garden. And you can use really anything from flower pots, tubs, and totes to barrels and bags, along with many other options. You can really get creative with these. What's nice is you can put these anywhere you have the space, such as balcony or other small areas. Like I said, remember to purchase or use containers with correct drainage to prevent overwatering. Finally, another method we use here at the Urban Farming Institute is the use of trays to grow microgreens. This is a method that can be done indoors with whatever space you have. A benefit to this is the short grow time. Within 14 days of planting, you'll have extremely nutrient-dense greens to add to your meals. If you're interested in this method, we now have a comprehensive class providing you information on how to grow your own microgreens. Today we talked about five gardening techniques we use here at the Urban Farming Institute. It's important not to let the idea of a garden intimidate you and prevent you from choosing one best suitable for you. Gardens come in all shapes and sizes and you can grow whatever you'd like in them. Again, my name is Marissa Swindell. I'm here at the Urban Farming Institute. If you liked our video today and you thought it was helpful, go ahead and like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow along for more videos like this one.